Okay, I have off-grid solar. I know about solar. I deal with solar dealers, and, and I deal with people in the solar industry. They are starting to find out that if you have solar, you need filtering. You're getting all this dirty electricity out of your inverter. There's nothing else you can do about it. You gotta filter it out. You gotta keep it off your house wiring. And I'm starting to get the sense that solar dealers are catching on. And, and mm -hmm. solar dealers know this. People ask them, is this clean energy? You know, they have to have an answer, right? right. And I mean, that's, that's what you do, right? That's what we do. Yeah. So it's true, more and more solar dealers are discovering clean energy, EMF, right. filtering right. all the time. Right. So they don't all know, I think they all do it, um, but it is maybe the fastest growing sector for Static Shield, for our company, the solar dealers are a huge portion of our business. Yeah, because there's no such thing as a solar system that doesn't need filtering. There's it, not. It, the, the inverter does that. And it doesn't matter if you have the micro inverters on the solar right. panels or the big uh, inverter in the garage, doesn't matter. It's dirty when it goes into the house. By their sheer functionality. You need like it can't be avoided. Like, are some worse? Of course, let, that goes for everything. And are some worse? But by their sheer functionality, Right. They create what we call dirty electricity, yep. interference, right. distortion, electromagnetic fields, massive amounts. So a line filter. Yes. You've got plug-ins, you've got wire-ins, yep. you put it right at the service panel, yep. power perfect box, power perfect. plug-in, what do you call it, set? Yep. Pure okay. power plug-in. Pure power, power plug-in. And both work, yep. both are fine. Yeah. Um, one of the things that's convenient about doing it when you go solar is when you buy one of our wire-in products, you need somebody standing at your breaker panel with a screwdriver. Who That's know, not always convenient. Who knows how to knows not the kill themselves doing. with right. yeah. Ideally so. Yeah. When you get solar, you know definitively there's going to be somebody standing right there anyway. So what a perfect time. You've got the cover off, your landing breakers and wires anyway. It is put in perfect. The put it in right now. Yeah. And to the point where it was, you know, a few solar dealers caught on, you know, a hundred or two or hundred or two are being installed a month to thousands. Right. Thousands are being installed per right. month right now. Yeah. With solar systems, some of the biggest solar companies in the country are installing one with every one they do. So right now, it's like to your electrician, to your solar installer, I need line filtering. I have to have one. Tomorrow it'll be the solar person saying, oh, by the way, did you know you need line filtering? It'll be right. more like that. Right. And, and so, so, so I've heard of several you know, legislation being written. It's on the ballot. Will, will it pass? Will it be voted down? Who knows about EMF exposure? And oftentimes there's a couple of things that are points of interest. How close can the 5G tower be to a school? Right. That, that might be one. Right. Um, how much solar can be installed, you know, number of panels or kilowatt hours before you must have an have inverter a filter. or have a filter. Have a filter, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally on the ballot. We don't know if it'll pass or not, right. but it's on it. And unfortunately, a ton of solar dealers right now just have no idea. They don't want to make anybody sick. Come on, stop it. Let's, let's not even suggest that. Right. They just simply don't know. Right. And when you think of solar, you think clean energy. Right. It's the first thing that pops into my mind, clean that, energy. That ain't the case. That's not the case. It's no. clean in that it's renewable. Right. It's not clean. It's, it's the it's no. um, generators are probably number one culprit for dirty electricity. Yeah. A generator by its functionality is probably number one. It's got inverter in it. It's got all that in it. It's whatever. got inverter in it. Yeah, and yeah. So it's two things, right? It's about, so that's part of it. And right. it has to have an inverter, right. right? And the other part of that is solar. Right. Solar's next. Right. And the thing about your, 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 if you had a generator, it's on for two hours when you camp or for two hours when the power goes down. The solar's on all day, every day. All That's its job. Yeah, right. That's right. its job. Right. So we really want to reach all the solar dealers that we can. You don't want to accuse anybody of anything. That doesn't land on anyone's heart well, right? Simply inform them. And the first thing that we do, and I've said this before in videos, we send them a meter in a unit. Say, hey, you know, I don't expect you to just believe me because then it sounds like I'm trying to sell you something. But you send them. Nobody for, wants to be sold. We send free, it for free. Free. And you for say, free. all you got to do is test it. Yes. So if we reach out to solar dealers and we say, this is not a sales pitch. We are in the EMF filtering business. Um, protecting home and family from EMF is my life's course right now. Right. And someday I hope to live on the beach and play the ukulele. Um, maybe I get a job busting the barnacles off the bottom of a boat. That sounds <laughs> nice. For right now, the driving force behind my life is educating people on the harmful effects of e-pollution. Yeah. And e-pollution's all of it. Um, right. It's, it's Wi-Fi, it's 4G, it's 5G, it's, it's RF frequencies, it's all of it. And when you install solar, you are putting a major culprit 
on that family's home, you are inadvertently hurting that little family. We have so many new diseases, diabetes, this, that, mm -hmm. you know, even neurological diseases. How could that not be associated with this explosion of electromagnetic frequencies from all the solar units, from the dirty electricity, from the bad power coming from the power plants, from all the wireless devices all over everywhere, from the stuff we plug in with a little converter thing on every plug socket that causes big dirty electricity fields. How could that not have medical effects? In 1970, the number one building material was asbestos. Yeah. The Romans made their wine in lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. GIs were given cigarettes. We make mistakes on civilization Microwave scale. Microwave ovens, <laughs> PFOA, and plastic. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And it's, the list right. is, yeah. and were all those things nefarious? Or do you simply have a way of living and then find out that the technological advancement was harmful to the biological, right. Right? right? So all these things are results of the electrified world. They're real, they're measurable, yep. they're inescapable, right. and they're harmful. Right. They're damaging and harmful, and they're so harmful, like people say, well, how harmful is it really? Well, it's not as harmful as stepping in front of a bus, Jerry. It's not that harmful. Right. It's not as harmful as backing into a propeller. It's not that <laughs> harmful. But is it smoking four packs of cigarettes a day? Yes. Mm. Is it eating fast food for every meal? Yes, and it presents differently. These things present with coffee lungs. Right. Um, fast food maybe with a fat tummy. Right. This represents in dis-ease. Yeah, whether you I'm have, not at ease. Whether you have immediate symptoms or not, yes. which some people do, you're going to have long-term You can't help it. Issues. I'm stressed out. I have high blood sugar. I'm anxious. I'm not sleeping. Right. I'm irritable. I'm a grump. Right. I don't even know why I'm a grump. Why am I not chill right now? Why does this room feel tense? Why right. is my chest tight? Why is it's this so room obvious, so noisy? It's so electromagnetics is when you think about how much there is and now. So if you brought, if you brought someone from the fourth century into even probably this room. Probably dropped dead. They probably just <laughs> fry them. So what happened to us is, you know, I'm, I'm getting older, unfortunately. Um, I got turned on to TV and radio. Yeah. And my mom said, don't sit close, too close to the TV. That's right. Uh, don't sit too close to the TV. That, your mom doesn't want you right here. She knew. Right. It's yeah. like, do you want yeah. the cell phone tower on your roof? No. Why? Yeah. You know it can't be good. Do you want your house right under the power lines? No. Why? Because you don't have to be told. There's you something. somehow know yeah. that it's not good. But what happened to me then? Then the fax machine came. Click, click, click. And the internet came. AOL. That old sound. And then came the cell phones. And then, and so my body has gone from a little bit to a lot. So gradually, I don't feel it the same way, right? right? right. So the kids that have been born, the humans that have been born in the last 30 or 40, they know nothing but, yeah, right? So let's they're... say you take somebody from the fourth century right. and put them into what we have, they might, they might present with illness immediately. There's no way they're sleeping. That, There's that no way would have sleeping. to be some kind of a slam shock to the brain. <laughs> Wouldn't it have to be? I mean, I really believe that to be true. All this electromagnetic, I mean, it's, you can't even imagine the end of it. There's so no. much of it around us now. Correct. That's absolutely and, true. And, and they have found out that, that when they introduce a new electromagnetic device, you know, cell towers or something, there is an initial, immediate medical thing that they can track and chart and then it, it's a bell curve. It kind of levels off a little bit. So there is an a adaptive thing. You're right. So, Somebody... I, so I thought that was a conspiracy theory. No. Just so you know, I read a book called The Electric Rainbow. Mm. And I started reading about um, epidemics, pandemics, and these things hitting and really corresponding to the industrialized world, the electrification of the world, yeah. and all these things. Right. And whether it's the cause or not, I won't say. But whether or not they timed up is beyond any right. reasonable contestation. Right. Sam Milham's book, Dirty Electricity. Dirty Electricity, he, Sam Milham. He correlated perfectly with the urban installation of electric yes. fields, the cancer epidemic there, 20 years later, the rural installation of electric in infrastructure, and the cancer epidemic there. It's, it's perfectly correlated. So Sam Milham changed my life. Yeah, yeah. No, Sam Milham, I, I haven't talked to Sam in a while. I love him. He... His book was the first one that I read when I was saving my kid. Really? Sam L. Hump's book yeah, was yeah. the first one. That's yeah. a while back. And I then there's that. there's a building biologist in California by the name of Orem Miller. Yeah. I love, I love Orem. I know Orem. Yeah, I live, do you know Orem? Sure. And Orem, Orem helped me save my kid, man. Orem helped me save my kid. Like, I didn't invent this stuff. I'm standing on the backs of giants. Yeah. Like, I compete for business with Graham Stetzer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm standing on their back. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm standing on their back, for real. Like, I know well, that our products are superior um, because we have newer, better things. We learned more oh, farther down the yeah, rabbit trail. Yeah, yeah, it's grown. But their stuff works. <clears throat> right. And I wouldn't be here today without them. I don't believe right. that to be true. And so yeah. it's not, you, you don't just come in and you're the genius and you're the expert and everybody's interviewing you. No, you read a book written by who? By Sam. Yeah. By Orem. Yeah. You call somebody. Well, right. Dr. Stetzer. Right. Or, the, or Dave, Dave Stetzer or, or Dr. Graham. That's, and then, and then. The you, products really have advanced. I mean, completely. Stetzer's been around a long completely. time. Completely. I mean, you know, we, I we, love him, but I just said I'm standing on his shoulders, but I will say they just haven't ha released a new generation in a long time. Right. And we're, we're launching Gen 3 right now. You have now new product. You have a lot of new tech. All the time. Yeah. We learn about new things. And yeah. so, so let's say, you know, the cell business invents something because they want, they don't want crosstalk. Right. Well, crosstalk's interference. Right. Interference is a form of e-pollution. So let's see what they're doing. Um, the stereo companies, you know, are releasing Avatar, and they don't want a click or tick or pop in the speakers when they're taking you off the James Cameron's billion-dollar thing. Right. What are they doing? So we are constantly seeing what else is on the market. So there's not a product on the market for EMF filtering, power conditioning, any of it that I'm aware of that we haven't purchased that we haven't looked at, that we haven't investigated. Not for a product comparison to beat them financially because we love them, we respect them, we honor them, we want to see what are they doing, how can we make our thing better. I'm not trying to make our thing to, to get rich. We're, we're selling thousands of units per month. We have 100,000 installed. But you can't honestly say that none of those beat you. I mean, you have, no. you have the, the top end. I mean, you're, you, how do you put that? Definitively. We make the best product of its type on the planet for any price by far. Why? Because we're constantly innovating. Okay. I, I, look, you've met my engineering team. Yeah. Well, what are they doing here? You know, sitting around, visiting, no. being jocular? No, no, no. We are continually looking at what's on the market, getting customer feedback, right. seeing how we could add new technologies into our product and redo our with more trademarks and more patents. We are constantly regenerating our product. We are in Gen 3 right now. We're looking at launch in Gen 4. We're looking at products that are smart and we're trying to make them smart without having them communicate right. in a way that's damaging to the biological, right? right? It, that anything that's contrary to right. what we're trying to do. And if you think that, it, that Panasonic's not innovating right now, they are. Sure. If you don't think that Texas Instruments is innovating right now, they are. Right. And so our product's not done. Mm -hmm. A lot of these guys made one product and done. Yeah. I'm never done. Mm -hmm. No, no. I'm mean, never done. That's, that's a good company. It's just, I mean, you, you don't sit still. You, you know, and this is such a growing thing. There's it sounds more, awful. Sitting still more, sounds awful. Yeah, <laughs> the, there's more EMF every day. There's more yes. wireless every day. There's more problems every day. Different types of things. They're building into buildings. And now we got a new problem. So, yeah, you have to move. So that was a great point. So one of the things that I told Dave Stetson one day is I said, okay, your product was developed before the big cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency mines, crypto mines, and Bitcoin mines have changed the landscape of energy use in America. Don't be misled. Computational. Right? Now, solar concept. panels. It was invented before solar panels. Right. Um, all the wind turbines. It was invented before that. How about indoor marijuana grows? Come on now. Yeah. We don't live in the same world. Right. It, was, it was LTE. Well, then it went to 4G. Well, then it went to 5G. Well, how have you adapted? Hmm. How have you changed? Our products had to adapt for solar power. Our products had to adapt for indoor grows. Our products had to adapt... For the Bitcoin miners, we make products, like people don't even know all of our industrial stuff. Mm -hmm. We have done over six megawatts in one facility for crypto miners. Over six megawatts in one facility. Of solar? No, power conditioners. Oh, just con oh, condition that power. That's right. Six They're, million. Yep, and I can't, I'm under NDA. Their power bill is a half a million dollars a month. They hired my team as the power systems engineer because we were considered in that community to be the best in clean power. And they wanted it, not for EMF, not for health. There's not a person in that building to make those machines run cooler, cooler. last longer, and lower their bill. And we did it. We did huge studies with professional electrical engineers came in from their side. They didn't just buy five megawatts worth. They brought in the best guys. They put data loggers. We started small. We ended up doing the whole thing. We have done megawatt marijuana grows. We have done megawatt indoor facilities for strawberries, tomatoes, and I talk about this all the time. Mm. People have no idea. When people go online, they go to Static Shield. You don't see the commercial stuff at Static Shield. Mm -hmm. You don't see the three phase, the 480, the high voltage. Mm. We haven't done schools, we've done school districts. Wow. We haven't done city buildings, we've done city halls. I right. mean, 
Now let's be clear, when you cool things down, yeah. it takes energy to heat things up. You're saving energy. That's a lower energy bill. Am I <laughs> you, correct? So, so one of the problems with some other line filters and plug-in filters is you're overcapacitating, you're gonna make the bill go up. Yeah. Now, what's more important, health or a high bill? Pick health every time. Yeah. Power bill be darned if it's bad for your health. Our units actually make the bill go down. So one of the things we tell solar dealers is you're gonna get better bang for the buck with your solar mm -hmm. because we're gonna lower the amp draw on the energy hogs. Right. And right now your DVR, your video record and all that nonsense is so hot that it's a little unnerving. Truly, it's unnerving. Like when I touch my DVR without my stuff on because I've got to turn it off sometimes so I can conduct the test, yeah. right? It gets so hot almost immediately that it's unnerving. The back of your fridge is hot, the back of your freezer is hot. Is heat free? Right. Well, that, is takes, it free? that takes energy. It takes energy. So if you and cool those down. Per kilowatt hour, cent by cent, you're paying for that heating thing. That's right. So, so, you, you, so capacitors themselves shouldn't lower your power bill because right. the utility is supposed to bill you on real power. That's right. So a lot of the times people will say, well, you know, a capacitor won't lower your power bill. And I say, duh. That's not, that's not where you save money. Right. You save money on heat. Right. Now, heat is a resistive load. A resistive load is the watt. It's the purest form of power. Right. The purest form of power is a resistive load that turns into heat. If you lower the heat, you lower the bill. You can't argue with me. It, it's, it's beyond any reasonable contestation right. or intellectual conversation. When you lower heat, you lower the bill. Right. But it has more things than that. Number one, your stuff is happier. Your stuff lasts longer. Right. And now let's go down this road. You're getting me fired up right now. If my DVR is hot, that is puking BTUs, British thermal units. Is it making my room warmer? It can't not. It's science. Your room is warmer now. Well, I live in Arizona. My air conditioner is rolling to beat the band. I got the thing on 72 and 75. It can't get there. Right. And this thing is puking heat. Right. My um, air conditioner, which I'm asking to cool the environment, is also getting blue hot. Blue blazes hot. Yeah. And my refrigerator and freezer, I'm asking them to make cold and they're hot. Right. So when you add Power Perfect with Solar Special or any of these, you cool that thing down. Right. When you cool that thing down, it lives a longer, healthier, happier life. Those watts weren't converted in heat and the things we're asking to make cold aren't fighting their own heat. Your bill goes down. It has to. Right. Is right. it enough to change your life? No, but it makes your day. And your AC is running cooler. Even even if you're not saving money there, it's the the AC is coming out cooler because there's not drawing from a heated box. So, the motor's uh, not all hot. Right, right, right. And it does save money because yeah. making that motor hot costs watts. So this is all line filtering. Yes. That's it. That's the answer to all these things. The heating, the biological exposures, the, uh, the whole deal. All of it. Is, uh, it's, is, it's, it's bad for your wallet. It's bad for your stuff. It's bad for you. EMF, yes, the, the dirty, dirty electricity. electricity. So the line filtering is the answer to that. Yes, I, it is. I, I, like to, I like to clarify this for you. Radio frequencies, you kind of have to shield or turn the transmitter off. Correct. Dirty electricity comes in on the line. It projects from the wiring around the house. You can't, you can't shield it as easily. There are certain ways you can shield it. You have the shielding product, but you need the line filtering. You need the line filter. No, you're done. Huge. It's a diff whole well, different a, animal. A than whole different animal. Food. And and the wiring is an antenna. Right. It's a super antenna. How right. could it not be? All of your house wiring, the All whole of your circuit, house wiring. anywhere you're sitting, you could have a wire going right by your head. We have them right here. Right, right. And, and, and if you're near that with your meter that you have, you see it. Absolutely. It's there. It's real. That's and you have a great demo on one of your videos where you plug in a, one of your little plug-ins yeah. and that meter goes, Geep. Yep, <laughs> that's right that now. that's goes to right now. And yeah, we do nothing. the field shield video. Um, I don't know if you've seen that one yet. We do a field shield video where we hold it up against one of the lights, and the electric field is just through the charts. You put the field shield there, and it goes to zero. Yeah, it doesn't go to one. It goes to zero. Flat zero. Flat zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that there's no question uh, with that shield. Yeah, I mean, anybody can test that. You know. You want to have a tester meter. I think everybody should have the meter. I love people having meters. You know, it's yeah. oh, so many times, you know, in the world today, we're asked to buy things that are probably vaporware, yeah. you know, um, and, and how do they work? And, you know, some of the products even in our genre, I look at it, you know, I want it to work. Uh, does the little sticker on the back of my phone work? I hope so. I have one. Mm -hmm. Is it working? We have not been able to create a test where we can see a difference Confirm with it. Confirm that, yeah. No. That's why I like meters. Right. We don't have a product 
that can't be visually verified with the meter in real Standard time. Standard equipment. I'm not saying that the other stuff doesn't work. I'm not saying that. I'm mm. just saying I can't measure it. Right, we don't Like know. I got three engineers. You've seen our lab. Yeah. You've seen the equipment yeah. in our laboratory, right? Yeah. We can't find a test, conduct a test, prove or show a test where we can see any difference in those products. There's not one thing that comes out of this laboratory. There's not one thing that comes out of this factory that can't be tested and verified, and we test them rigorously. Right. We have seven UL listings. Yeah. How many trademarks do we have? Our stuff has been third-party validated. The Home Shopping Network wanted me to go on. I said no to that, but the rigorous testing that they got changed my life. And, and right. their, their lead engineer, um, the testing that we went through with him, it was, it was brilliant. I mean, they come up with things you hadn't thought of before we, we qualified. The, the lead engineer, the product testing engineer for the Home Shopping Network, has our product on his home right now, and then he put it on his two daughters' homes, and then a lot of those very lovely people that work and are on camera, they have our products by their desk right now. Right yeah, now. And, and these are people who know, know what they know. they've got. Yeah, they, 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 tested six they live in a world of baloney. Of they, no, yeah. they, they live in a world of that. And yeah, so, yeah. you know, the first thing that, you know, we went through that, and this is many years ago, was, you know, product verification, product quality, and all that, and part of it, you know, if you, if it if it boxed up and you drop it from three feet, does it does it break and and all that stuff? But the efficacy part was it has to be defendable mm -hmm. within a reasonable criterion that it will do what it says it does, and we beat we beat every criterion by you know certainly yeah. enough to get yeah to get approved on real tests things that, right. you, that you could prove and show and do over and over and over again. It's, and so that was my point. I apologize yeah. for rabbit trail. Yeah, everything that we make has been tested here, you can see it, and it's been third-party validated right. by a real lab right. to do what we claim it will do. Right, and money back. Money back guarantee. So, so. we always say we, we back all of our claims up. We don't just make them, we back them up. Right. Um, we honor our warranties. Mm -hmm. And money's, money back guarantee is, is a non-issue. That, that, is, that is so far gone. Money back guarantee is a non-issue because satisfaction is guaranteed. Right. You're only going to be satisfied if you get your dough back. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. no satisfaction yeah. without remuneration right. in equal or greater than. Right. It's got to be equal to or greater than for you right. to feel satisfied. Yeah, but you're not going to offer that if you don't know pretty damn well you're going to solve the problem. You'd stand no chance. Like yeah. you, we'd be out of business. We wouldn't yeah. be heading into year 16. We'd right. be out of business. Right, right.